For our 13 minute meal today, we make a meal that's pretty easy to throw together with some basics you probably have in your pantry or your freezer. We're talking tomato sauce, fresh basil's always best, and some pasta. Chef Suzanne joins us to talk a little bit about this chicken puttanesca. What you got here, Chef? Well, I'm gonna throw a little olive oil in your skillet to start with. And then I have diced our chicken and already put a little bit of salt and pepper on it so that it will cook a little faster and, and meet our parameters. So we're gonna put that in there and we're gonna start it, just saute it. And we're gonna do that for about two or three minutes. And that's all it should take to at least get it um, brown on each side and lock in those juices. Now it was interesting you said that this has a bit of a, this dish has an interesting history. It, it, it does and it's, I'll, we've gotta keep it G-rated for our, <laughs> noon audience but the history of this dish is that um, the ladies of the evening would cook this dish because it was simple and it was fast and they wouldn't get interrupted in their day and this, the aromas of the fresh tomatoes and basil would lure their customers into their houses of ill repute. It's so enticing of an aroma. Right. So fast forward to these days, it's just simple, easy, fresh and a um, working mom or a working dad can get it on the table fast. And, and go on with their day. All right, so after we have the chicken done, then what? Okay, then we're gonna add, we're gonna go ahead and add your sauce. And the great thing about this is you can get, you can pick up a jar of sauce if you are in a hurry. We've just using, for today, we've taken our base tomato sauce and it's got fresh basil in it. So you're gonna add that. You're gonna add capers, which is why I want you to watch how much salt you put in here because capers do have some salt. You're gonna add um, black olives. We're actually using a Kalamata, which I love. You're gonna add a little bit more basil. And then depending on your heat, um, I'm gonna add about a quarter um, teaspoon of red peppers, of hot peppers. And then you're just gonna stir this and you can see, you'll be able to smell it in about a minute in the kitchen, it'll smell so good. And in about five minutes, your sauce is done. And then you can put it over any um, pre-cooked pasta and if you have your water boiling and your pasta going at the same time, it'll just, the timing is faster. Perfect. It's even faster. And this is what we put it over just a regular spaghetti. It smells really great. I think the olives and the fresh basil really give it that distinctive flavor and aroma. And, you know, we made it with chicken. But if you're a shrimp person, you can just throw shrimp and substitute for that instead of chicken. We like to use these thin sliced chicken breasts because then it's easier and quicker to saute up. Also for the tomato sauce, if you want to use like a ragu or a pre-bought sauce from a jar, you can use that or you can make the tomato sauce and add your own basil. All of that detailed in this recipe, which we have posted for you online at WTHR.com. Chef Suzanne, thank you so much. It smells Thanks. great. And uh, we're not going to worry about the history of this or the, dish. Or the golfers coming in from the golf course <laughs> at any minute. No, no, no. We're, we're going we're gonna to save this for ourselves. Oh, good. <laughs> All right. Back to you.